What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. We're back here at Preston's house today. It's pretty chilly this morning. I'd say it's probably 35 to 40 degrees. We are going to be putting all of the stuff back under the hood with fresh powder on it, which we have all sitting right here. Powdered intake, s and B intake elbow. Powder coated boost tube, alternator bracket, and his new valve cover that he got for Christmas from his girlfriend. So let's get this stuff on the truck and see how it all looks. We just got the, va the old valve cover off and here's a comparison of the old valve cover and the new valve cover. Huge difference, plus this one's awesome because it's not stock. So now we're going to go ahead and put the old bolts and the new valve cover and we're going to put a towel over it or something that way when we bring it over here it doesn't rub up against the top of under the hood here and we don't scratch all the fresh powder up. So we just got the valve cover in, the alternator bracket, and the boost tube. Now we are getting ready to put on a new intake gasket, which will go right over here over the uh, grid heater. And then after that, we'll get the intake on. got everything in the truck that he had powder coated and damn does it look good what do you think looks pretty good to me hell yeah now we're going to start the truck up and then we have some errands to run so we're going to go out and do that and then when we get back we have something planned for this video that's only been done a couple other times so we're super excited to do it and it's going to be awesome when it's on the truck so stay tuned to find out All right, so we just ran to Home Depot and we picked up some supplies. It's all in the back of his truck right here. Whole bunch of drywall, backer boards, some plywood and stuff. Cause I got starting this new project tomorrow and I figured I might as well just show you guys it. So I am remodeling this whole house pretty much. We're gonna start off in the kitchen. The homeowner already put new cabinets in here. I'm gonna come in through, put in the oven range, towel backsplash, quartz countertops, farm style sink, all new plugs. Gonna end up moving some of these lights and squaring this light up even with this light. And then coming over here to this dining room. This used to be a porch, it was converted into like a little bedroom with a bathroom. I'm gonna end up putting new windows in here, new window in here, gutting this whole entire bathroom, new floor, all new drywall. I wanna build a wall here for the washing dryer behind it. Toilet will go here, sink and vanity here. And then if we go upstairs, I'm going to have to support this wall because as you can see, you can see under the wall into this bedroom. So I'm going to have to pull off all the trim and fix this wall because right now it's pretty much just floating. And then all new trim. And then in the bathroom here, new doors going in with all new trim of course. Going to end up redoing all the framing in here because 
that is not done right. So this has to be torn out, redone. There'll be a vanity in the corner here. I'll only trim around that window. That window's not that old, so we're gonna leave that one here. Insulation on this wall. This wall gonna get torn out and moved back for the tub to go in there. This floor vent will get moved over. Cabinets here. Half wall here with the toilet right here. And then all drywall, ceiling walls, tile floor. And I will also be tiling the tub surround around the tub here from the floor to the ceiling. And I'm pretty sure right here, up to three feet, there'll be a wall of tile and then it'll be glass blocks to the ceiling there to allow natural light to come in, but also some privacy for the person in the tub. So that's just kind of a glimpse into this project that I got going on right now, starting this week. Figured I'd come by and show you guys what we got going on and I'll kind of give you updates as we go and when we finish up and show you the before and the after because it's going to be a huge difference. All right, so we just got back to Preston's house here. We already have the truck up on jack stands because today we are going to be doing a third gen brake conversion. I was gonna do this on my truck, but I had everything purchased and it was too late to return it and I wanna go through the whole process. So I didn't do it. So instead we're gonna do it on his truck. So here you have the third gen drilled and slotted rotors, third gen upgraded calipers, and the third gen extreme carbon fiber brake pads, which are meant for heavy duty and towing trucks. So we are going to get ahead and get started on that now and we'll walk you through the process. All right, so we just got the front driver's side rotor, caliper, and brake pads off. You can see the brake line hanging there disconnected. We had to use some heat on the caliper bolts because they were seized in there with some Loctite. Pretty sure that they were original. We were just talking about that. But here's a comparison of the old rotors to the new rotors. And as you can see, a size comparison there. They are much larger. It's hard to tell, but side by side. You can definitely see a huge difference. And then here's the calipers. These ones, the new ones seem a lot bulkier and thicker than the old ones. Here's the difference in the brake pads. You got the old on the right and the new on the left. These ones actually weren't too bad. But one thing I like about the new calipers is the old ones have the star bit. And then for the caliper to attach to the uh, caliper bracket, and the new ones come with the hex bit, which is nice because these old ones, the star bit likes to strip out of there. So that's something awesome about the new ones. But we are going to go ahead and get the new rotors on, calipers and brake pads, and we'll go over and show you when we're all finished up on this side. All right, so we just got to finish up with the driver's side here. Right now he's pulling the lug off because it's a little trick we use to help keep the rotor in place while you put the caliper on. All new calipers are on with the brake pad attached. And then we also use some anti-seize on the caliper bolt going into the knuckle right here. So that way if you need to take this off again at a later date, it's not so hard. And the rotors, brake pads, and calipers are all from rockauto.com. I'll make sure to put a link down below if you guys want to pick these up for your truck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so right now he's adding some dot three brake fluid and then we are going to bleed the line. So we're gonna come on the passenger side first. We pick up some three eighth size hosing and we're gonna put it on the bleeder here, which is a seven sixteenths. And we're gonna drain it into the drain bucket here and then we'll move on over to the driver's side. And tell me when you're holding it. Okay, hold her there. I'm gonna close it off. Get one more good pump and then hold her. Hold it. We'll have to go to the other side. Double check that because we're getting a good amount of fluid now. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> So we just bled each side of the brakes twice. That way we make sure we got all the air out of it. And he just filled up the brake fluid reservoir. So now we are going to get the tires back on and take it out for a test drive. <laughs> I'd say she stopped. That works pretty good. So you guys saw us do these brake lights a couple of videos ago on my truck. But one thing we forgot to do was the third brake light because I forgot it at home. So sitting right here, we have the third brake light. So we are going to get that installed today. It is a upgraded LED smoked brake light. So we're going to put that in here now and we'll show you the before and after. <laughs> So I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the old third brake light, which is halogen bulbs, and the new third brake light, which is LED. All right guys, so we just got back from our test drive. How would you rate the brakes, the new third gen to the old second gen? I give them at least an eight and a half to a nine out of 10. Would you say that you noticed a huge difference between the new upgraded third gen brakes to the old second gen brakes? Notice a big difference. The only thing you lose is the touchiness in the second gen to a third gen, but their third gens are a lot more smoother. You got more consistent brake in between. It just seems a lot more smoother, smoother ride. As you guys saw in the test clips there, especially when we were in the truck, when he hits the brakes hard, you go flying forward. So I would say just from riding it, we've been riding it, I've been riding around with it and with, blah. 
I've been riding around in the truck with you for a couple weeks now, and today, after I got the new brakes, and I really noticed a huge yeah, difference, especially with braking and stopping power. I mean, that thing stops on a dime. If you guys have any questions on the conversion on your second gen, just drop a comment down below and we'll get back to you on them. But that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps some of you guys out or maybe answer some of the questions you might've had on doing the conversion on your truck or because maybe you're a little bit skeptical or you weren't sure. It's pretty simple. It's pretty much as simple as changing out your rotors and your calipers and brake pads like you would do normally. You're just doing bigger and better and upgraded stuff. It's straight through, as ever you use all the old bolts. It's just replace it, just like putting brand new, brand new on. So I wouldn't say it's too difficult. It's just as easy as changing your rotors and calipers like you would normally do. You're just doing upgraded stuff again. So not too hard, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Thank you.